Hi everyone, welcome back to my eighth video on Azure DevOps concepts. Okay, so in this session, I'm going to cover four different topics. The first one is understand. So let me just change the sequence. So the first one is understand the system defined processes within Azure DevOps, create an inherited process, add custom fields for an inherited process manage custom fields for an inherited process okay so first of all let us understand the system defined processes within azure devops okay so whenever you create so this is my azure devops tenant so whenever you create a new project in azure devops there is an option called work item process okay so what are all the different processes that are exist in the azure devops one is Agile, CMMI, Scrum, and Basic. Okay. So, for any given project, so let me go back to project settings. Okay. For any given project, there are four different inherited processes within Azure DevOps. Okay. So, what is the first one? The first one is Basic Process. What is the second one? So let me just delete my inherited process so that it will be easy for you to understand what is the default settings. Okay. So this is the default processes that are exist in the Azure DevOps. One is basic, agile, scrum, CMMI. So let me just click on scrum process. So under scrum process, these are all the different work items types that are exist. One is bug, epic feature impediment product backlog item task test case test plan test suit so if you go to cmmi process what happens you will not find the product backlog instead you will have requirement and also you have a change request what which is one of the work item type okay so for cmmi these are all the work item types for agile these are all the work work item types that types that are defined in the Azure DevOps. So that means, so these processes are the system defined processes. So can you edit these processes? Let's see. Click on this. So if you want to add a new work item called incident, for example, can you add here? You cannot because system processes cannot be customized. To add customization, create an inherited processes. So let's assume if I go to bug, right? So this is under bug, this is the layout. That means under bug, what are all the different fields that have been set up? Details what? Reproduce steps, system info, acceptance criteria. Your priority, CVRT, effort. So these are all the required fields that are that needs to be entered while creating a bug. So if you want to add a new field, can you add? No, because this is a system defined process. So the system defined processes cannot be customized. Understand? So these are all the, so we understand what are all the system defined processes. Okay. Now, how do we create an inherited process? So what do you mean by inherited process? That means, so Azure has provided us a system defined processes. Now, in your organization, the system defined processes might not be suitable for your organization. Then what you are going to do? You have to customize the system defined process. So how can we do that? By creating an inherited process. So how do you create an inherited process? Let's say I want to create an inherited process for the scrum system defined process let's assume how you click on these three dots and click on create inherited process so once you click on create inherited process it will ask you to provide the process name okay let me name it as custom process custom scrum process okay this is my custom scrum, scrum process customized Customized, customized for sample project. Okay, let's assume. 
okay just create the process so as soon as you create a process what happens it is going to copy the entire system defined processes layouts and it is going to form a new inherited process okay that means it is copying the entire system defined processes as it is now let's assume if you want to customize this now let's see click on inherited process now if you see there is a new button called new work item type that means if your organization has a new work item you can add a new work item let's assume in organize in your organization let's say impediments are not used so you can disable this impediments and you can add a new work item called issue let's say if you want to add a new work item called issue okay i can create so that means if you go back here that means i have disabled my impediment work item and i have created a new work item called issue understand right now let's say so this is called a creation of an inherited process that means you are creating an inherited process and you are customizing your work items okay now let's say if i click on bug if you want to add some new fields or new attributes for a bug what you can do you click on new field let's say i need an incident number whenever i raise a production defect incident number which is from my salesforce application so when i raise a production defect i have to link the defect with the incident number let's assume so what i am doing i am creating a new field and let's say this is a text field incident number to link production issue okay so let's say and i have if you go to options do you want to make this as required let's say i want to make this as required okay this is a required field oh this is already exist let's say incident numbers okay and then i want to add this field okay add field so as soon as you add see if you see here there is a new field called instant number now okay so that means i have created an inherited process for a scrum process and i have customized my work item types and also i have customized the layout of a bug okay so let's say now i want to create a new project okay let me go back here and i want to create a new project and i want to use this inherited process whatever i created just now okay what is my process custom scrum process okay so let's go back here click on new project let's name it as custom project now here i want to select my inherited process what this is my inherited process custom scrum process and click on create so as soon as you click on create what happens now this project will be linked go to project settings this project has been linked to a process called custom scrum process which is a an inherited process okay now go back to project again now if i want to create work items what will do i'll go to boards or work items now if you see here click here i can see there is a new work item called issue we don't have impediments because we deleted that we disabled it okay and let's say i want to create a bug so if you as soon as you click on bug i can see there is a title cannot be empty okay title i provided this now we have added a new field called incident number which is a required field see it is asking you to provide an incident number right that means 
वॉट एवर दी न्यू फील्ड दट आर दट वी हैव एड एट दट इज शोइंग हियर राइट सो दैट मीन्स आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ प्रोजेक्ट टू यूज ए कस्टम आर टू यूज एन इनहेरिटेड प्रोसेस कॉल्ड कस्टम स्क्रम प्रोसेस सो लाइक वाइज यू कैन कस्टमाइज यू कैन add the new fields for each and every work item if you want to add a new field under product backlog item yes you can add a new field in under project backlog item if you want to add a new work item you can add a new work item so now you understand right how can you create an inherited process and how can you customize your layouts by adding the new fields for any work item hope you all understand what is the system defined processes by azure devops and how can we create an inherited process and how can we add a custom fields for an inherited process how do you manage the custom fields for an inherited process and then how can you create a new project and link this new project to the custom or to the inherited process that is customized by your organization so if you have any queries please leave the comments in the comment box and subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel like the video thank you